Welcome back. Great to have you here on the cutting edge. Rush Limbaugh. Hey, half my brain, no concussions that I know of, tied behind my back just to make it fair. You know what else we learned over the weekend about the Olympics? That swim, well, Ryan Lochte, a member of our male swim team, pees in the pool. And you know how we know this? Because a reporter asked him. I was telling this to some um, uh, people of mature, advanced age. And they weren't they been watching the Olympics. They didn't know. I said, yeah, you know, Ryan Lochte uh, said that uh, he leaks in the pool. What does that mean? As he pees in the pool. Oh, my gosh. Well... Why did he say that? I said, because he was asked by a member of the media. Anybody can get a media credential these days. So Lochte's up there in the press cup. By the way, have you ever leaked in the pool? And Lochte answered it instead of deflecting it and saying, look, we're here. To he said, oh, yeah, everybody does, but not during competition. Only during warm-ups or in the warm-up pool, but never during competition. Oh, well, that's, that's okay then. Everybody does it. He was asked, and then he answered. It's a whole different culture out there, folks. This is the same controversy as the NBC running the monkey gymnastics thing. Uh, supposedly, supposedly ill-timed. By the way, um, there's, there was a story in the L.A. Times August 4th. So this is this be Saturday by a guy named Roger Smith. After 24 years, Limbaugh's influence continues to grow. I didn't see it. Coco sent it to me this morning. He says, I don't know if you saw this over the weekend, but I found it funny. It's a grudging admission by a liberal reporter. Basically, you're the root of everything bad in politics. It all started 24 years ago, but damn it, you're more influential than ever. In fact, it starts out this way. Rush Limbaugh celebrated 24 years on his national radio show Wednesday. And that date's as good as any to benchmark when the country began its journey into a deeply polarized political climate. Limbaugh, universally called Rush by friends and critics alike, almost single-handedly started a narrative that recast Americans into conservative heroes, liberal villains... Patriotic saviors are mainstream media dupes. I, in the L.A. Times, was blamed Saturday for the partisan divide. And, I'll, well, maybe you all will remember. Some of you remember that I have alluded to this myself. At least in explaining why the media has become so agenda-oriented. The media is no different than they've always been, but but in terms of how they think, they've always been liberal, but now they're active agenda participants for the Democrat Party. And I do think I brought that about, or or contributed to it, because up until, as I said, up until I started, they, they had a monopoly. And then I started, and slowly their monopoly eroded, and they had to start competing. And the process, they became who they really are. They already and always had taken sides, but once the monopoly ended, they let it be known officially. I do think I do, I do think Mr. Mr. Roger or Mr. Smith here has the bare essentials of a point. 